When you're setting up your CNC router bit tool paths and you're going into the router bit database, you often have lots of router bits to choose from in the database, but you only may have just a few of those bits. And it can be kind of cumbersome to scroll through that list every time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own little database without messing up the database that exists. So you can populate your own little database with the router bits you have. IDCwoodcraft.com Hello my CNC brother or sister, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company you get your CNC router bits from. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own little router bit database in the Vectric software. This is gonna work for any version of the Vectric software. First of all, if you don't have the database in your Vectric software, and you just got the software and you're finding you have to populate it yourself, then you can download a full-blown router bit database from idcwoodcraft.com. You can see right here on the IDC Woodcraft homepage at the top, it says database downloads. When you click that button, it'll take you to the database downloads, select the Vectric database, and it will download, unzip the file, and follow the instructions. There'll be a video that tells you exactly what to do. And when you import the database following those instructions, you will not mess up anything else that's been put in, in your database already. Okay, so with that, let's get into the Vectric software and let's show you how to create your own little database with just the router bits you have. So here we are in Vectric version 12. And again, like I said, this will work in any of the Vectric versions. We're gonna come up to the upper menu and click tool paths. And then come down and click tool database. You can get to the database from there or you can go over the, the uh, click this button right here or hit F12 and the router, uh, the tool database will open up and you can get to the database right there as well. So we'll just go into it from that way. So we click that and we're gonna open up the database. Now you're gonna notice that the words on the database actually run off into the slide bar right here. So to expand that, I'm just gonna hover my mouse right over the edge until I get that little side to side arrow and then I'm gonna hold my left mouse button down and drag it out. Okay, so here we are, we have the IDC Woodcraft full-blown router bit database. This has all the CNC router bits in the IDC Woodcraft website. If you have not gotten that database, I suggest you do because it'll save you a ton of time populating router bits. And the settings in here are good for other brand router bits as well. We want to create our own little database. So here's what we're going to do. You see where it says IDC Woodcraft Performance Bits. We're gonna select that. And down at the bottom, there are six icons. You have the plus, this little three router bit thing, a little copy button, and we have an open button, a save button, and a trash button. What we wanna do is first create a new group. So we're gonna hover over this icon that has the three bits and a little plus sign. And the word pops up, add a group. And when I click that, you're gonna see a new group pop up under IDC Woodcraft Performance Bits. And we click that and now you have that, it says new group. Now we wanna name this new group My Bits or something else, not new group. We wanna know exactly what this, this new little micro database is that we are saving. So the way you do that is when you highlight it, like it is right now, you come over to the right and you have these two fields. One says name, one says notes. We simply go into the name and we're gonna call it My bits and come down and click apply. And when I click apply, you're gonna see the word new group in the database change to my bits. There it is. Now we've got our own little database set up. Now we're gonna populate our bits from the existing IDC Woodcraft database. Here's how we do it. So let's say you have the 1/8 down cut and no right there. We're gonna select that and you notice that it's got all the router bit data for the feed, speeds, depths of cut, RPMs, and lots of other information. And if you need to replace it, you've got a link in the notes section of every router bit that you can click and it'll take you to the IDC Woodcraft website or it will take you directly to that page. So we've highlighted on the end mill 1 8 down cut. We're gonna come down to this button right here where it says copy the selected tool or group. When I click that, you're gonna see another 1 8 and mill down cut populate. And there it is. Now, one thing you'll notice is in the original, 
we have all the router bit data right there. But when I click on the 1 8 down cut that we just created, you're gonna see it has no data in it. But that's okay, it's gonna be very easy to fix up. First, we're going to get this into our database. Now you know, it, by the way, that it does not have any data in it when you look at the little icon next to it. It's got a little router bit there, but it's kind of grayed out relative to the rest of them. When you see it's grayed out, that means it's not accessible under that means that it does not have the data populated into it. But it's going to be really easy to get that data into it. So I'm going to move this bit we just created into my new database. So I'm going to hold my left mouse button down over it while I'm over it. Click, click onto that and then hold my left mouse button down and simply drag it up and drop it under my bits. Now you're going to notice it dropped up above it. That's okay. I'm just going to grab it again and bring it back down and now it has dropped in there. Now we're going to come down to this little copy button here and select that. And what that's going to do is that's going to import the data that was already in that bit. And we're going to come down and click apply. And now that button is applied or that bit is applied and it's now permanently in the database. And you can see right here that the router bit is is now uh, a color that means it is set up and we are good to go now let's say we got to add another router bit let's say you had the beast roughing bit that is a bit that you should probably get if you've been doing anything for a little while you know that when you're carving out a lot of material it takes a lot of time the beast is a roughing bit designed to remove material really fast as you see in this project right here. I'm running this at about 200 inches per minute at a quarter inch depth of cut and 80% step over. This would, would take probably about 15-20 minutes with the regular bits, the down cut end mills that we normally use. The thing with the beast router bit and roughing bits, they're designed to get that material out of there and not do all the work on your finishing bits. So that's why you want to get a bit like that. I will link that down below in the description along with the link to get to the IDC Woodcraft database download page. So we'll repeat the same process. We'll come into the database to the beast right there. And we're going to duplicate that like we did with the 1 8 end mill. So click the copy the selected tool and you will see the beast will copy itself right here. And now we just do the same thing that we did with the 1 8 end mill. We're going to click on the beast hold our left mouse button, and then we're gonna start dragging it up. Now I want you to look at my mouse. You see the little box to the lower right of it. That means that we are literally holding onto that bit and we are moving it in the database. So we're gonna put it back under my bits right there and let it go. Now it popped in down here, but where did the 1 8 bit go? Well, if you take a look right over here next to my bits, there's a little plus sign. And you'll notice down here with this down cut end mills, there's a little minus sign. So what this defines is that there is a tree. So let's take a look at the 1 8 down uh, cut end mills first. You notice that we got the minus sign and we have the down cut title there. And then there's a little dotted line underneath it and then each router bit comes off that dotted line. That means that because this little dotted line is right under that little icon right there, that it is part of the tree for the down cut end mills. If I select this little button here, that minus sign, it's going to collapse this part of the tree. So I'll click that and you can see the down cut end mills have collapsed. So that is actually a little way that you can simplify your database so you're not looking at a ton of bits as well. And you see though that it turned into a plus right there. So that plus means that we can expand the tree. So we'll expand it. So if you look up here under my bits, we've got a plus right here. And when I click that, it expands and there's the down cut end mill, the 1 8th. And that is directly treed under my bits. But the beast roughing end mill is not. It is along this line right there. So it is treed under the IDC performance bits, but not under my bits. So the way we get that under your specific micro database is grab that beast end mill again or whatever it is and just drag it up under the end mill 1 8 down cut and it should move into position there. Now you can rearrange these as well. 
you can select the one eighth and bring it up there and it should rearrange. There we go. Okay. So you can see the beast is not, uh, the, the little icon there is not bold or full color. It's grayed out. And that means, like I said before, that the data is not populated. This full color icon means that the data is populated over here and the grayed out icon means when I click the beast, there's no data populated here. All we need to do is click copy and it's going to copy the data that was originally in the beast and simply click the apply button. And now we have set up our database for these two bits. And when we click the apply button, it is now formally in there. So now let's for, for the sake of it, just do one more bit so that you know how to do this. And I'm going to select, we'll do a V bit since everybody has a V bit and we're going to use the ultra smooth cutting 60 degree V bit. That is this bit right here. I like to use this for fine text and it is just a very clean cutting bit. It comes in a series, the 30, the 60 and the 90, the ultra clean cutting V bits from IDC Woodcraft. That'll be linked down below as well. But we're going to click this one right there. We're again going to copy the selected tool. And you see we have a grayed out icon there. Now you notice that icon is a little different shape. That's just indicating a V bit. And you'll notice that this little icon matches the image that we have over here that Vectric has imported for a selected V bit. Now, if you want to know about this database and how to populate different things, I've got a video. Uh, that, that goes through this whole thing. I will link that down below so you understand this whole database layout. Speaking of videos, I've had many CNC creators ask me if there is an organized list of all the videos I've created for the IDC Woodcraft YouTube channel. And that has been available for some time. It is the IDC Woodcraft fully organized video list, which breaks all the stuff down into subject matter, such as the Vectric software or your CNC router or CNC router bits, designing. All the videos I've created have been listed. The video list is organized by learning about CNC routers, router bits, the after the purchase and design software, CNC routers themselves, and designing, lots of videos on designing, and we have projects, projects you can make on your CNC router, troubleshooting your CNC, how to succeed in CNC business, and on and on. And it's yours for free if you want it. I will link this down in the description of the video. When you click that link, it will download to your computer and you can go to the subject that you want to learn, CNC design, CNC routers, CNC router bits, business, it's all organized in this list and the list is yours for free. Again, the link is down below in the description. Let's get back to this database thing. All right, let's go ahead and move that 60 degree V bit. I'm gonna hover over it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna drag it off to the side. Now look at the little icon next to my, my cursor there. It's now that little V bit icon. So it's just telling me I'm grabbing that. So I'm gonna start moving up and oh my gosh, we got a little bit of a problem. It's it's. I can drop it right on a beast, but what happens? Oh, there it goes. It wasn't moving up on me before, so I was a little worried. So we can drop it right on the beast and that should populate right in there. So we're good. And now we can rearrange that. But of course this V bit, we are grayed out. So we have to copy that data. We simply come over and click copy. And when you click copy, just want to make this note. You notice that it did not change that that grayed out V bit image icon right there. We have to apply it. So I'm going to go down and click the apply button. I just want you to watch the icon and there it goes. It's all set up and the router bit database has now been populated. If this video is helping you out, understand how to move these bits around, then please give me a thumbs up. I think you're going to really appreciate being able to build up your own little micro database with just the bits that you have and not mess up anything else in the, in the database. And I want to point out one other thing that when you import the IDC Woodcraft database, which I suggest that you do if you haven't done that in a while, if you've done it before, because we update it. And the, the video that I send with that 
tells you how to import that database. And what it will do, it'll just import new bits that I have added to the IDC Woodcraft store, but it will not mess up the other stuff that you are doing, like setting up your micro database. So just want to point that out. Definitely update the IDC Woodcraft database if you haven't done that in a while. We're just going to click apply one more time, close the database. And when we go back into this icon here, the tool database icon, or this time I'm going to go up to tool paths and click tool database that'll open up the same database and we're going to slide this over right there and you can see my bits are populated right there now there's one more little trick i want to show you that you might like and watch this so what i'm going to do is i am going to collapse all these trees under the idc bits so we're just going to click 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 Jeez, IDC Woodcraft has lots of bits. So this will be very helpful for you. You're just gonna keep collapsing them. You can't like collapse all at once as far as I know. Uh, actually you could, I could do it by just clicking this minus sign right here under IDC bits and that will collapse the entire tree. But I don't wanna do that yet. I just wanna give myself a little more room and you'll understand why in just a second. Okay, so there we go. There's everything under the IDC Woodcraft brand. And then down here we have metric tools and laser tools. Those are actually imported with the Vectric software. What I wanna do is actually create a main master for my bits only that you can do. And the way we do that is I am going to grab my bits and I am going to just bring them all the way down here and drop right there okay it took a second but i dropped it right there and now i can collapse the idc bits uh we'll just grab that one and move that one down to there and now it is rearranged basically it just hovered over the other one rearranged it so now my bits are on top and i have made a master directory and i've cleaned the entire thing up so that the only bits that show up are the ones that i have which makes this really, really handy. So if this video is helpful for you with the Vector software to build your own micro database so you don't have to search through the database all the time, then please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's something I missed in this that, uh, that, that I need to know and other people need to know. If you put it down in the comments, other people read the comments. So that helps a lot of people. Subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more videos like this for you to help you become a better CNC creator. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with the CNC router bits to carve out your amazing CNC projects. And I will catch you in the next video. IDCWoodcraft.com